Hey, it's Tuesday, September 2nd, 2008, and it's time for your tech news. In our first story, comic book creator Brad Meltzer has is working to save Jerry Siegel, one of the co-creators of the original Superman series, home. He was doing research for a book he's been writing and noticed that it was in terrible condition. So he's working with people to raise about $50,000 for home repairs. And some of the things that are being auctioned off are like a walk-on role on Heroes, which would be pretty sweet, and some other prizes. Here's something for you gamers out there. So, new research at the University of Hong Kong has actually scientifically proven that it is actually good for your health to play video games and it can actually help you lose weight. I'm not just talking about we fit here, guys. I'm talking about anything. So, you know, you don't have to go to the gym anymore. Just sit back and play a round of Halo 3 or Grand Theft Auto 4. Hell, even Metal Gear Solid 4 or Guitar Hero. Whatever, man. It'll help. In other news that is not as good, defense contractor Northrop Grumman is working with the CIA and he promises that he will have defense lasers by two th by the end of this year 2008 uh, now the CIA has been working for years to create chemical based lasers but now he's got a new idea com that combines laser small lasers into one giant laser Death Star style in news that's even worse there's the world's largest atom smasher is possibly going to kill us all. Yes, that's right. A legal battle has been raging for weeks saying that a, a atom smasher created by scientists that is supposed to be being tested in Honolulu today could create m microscopic black holes that could possibly rip the earth apart and destroy the entire planet so I hope they get that shit worked out because I really want you guys to keep watching my show and I want to keep you know blogging about tech news I don't really want to die after my first episode so hope to get it worked out this has been Nick Comey with your tech update for Tuesday September 2nd 2008 and I'll see you on the internet